So the circle serve drill, you know, I'm not a big circle fan. I don't, I don't really like circle drills in general because you, you do the action and then you get feedback on your next one maybe 30 or 45 seconds later. I think that's too long. The only exception would be serving. You know, we did that circle serve drill. We started doing that a couple years ago because we realized in, in the game, you're gonna do something first. You're gonna go play defense or you're gonna be in transition. Then you win the rally, now you go back to serve. You've gotta be able to take that action you were in calm yourself, get into the moment a little bit, and then go put a good serve on the other team. So that circle drill, they're running, and we actually call it cardio circle serve. They're sprinting, so they get a little cardio work. Then they've got to balance, stop, get their breath, and then go serve a tough ball. We have passers in there, so they have a zone they're trying to go after, and we talk about trying to get that passer outside their body. Make them reach the passers on the other side. They're getting reps and saying, hey, we're trying to really beat that server, make sure we're taking a ball and getting it to the target that, that those servers are putting on us. So that circle serve drill, I, I, yeah, I really like the fact that we would do at two minutes with each passer and then we shift them through. Um, but it's just a great way to kind of get practice going at the beginning. Um, we do it sometimes in the middle of practice, but uh, it's a way for our servers to have to do something and then step in and be a server for that moment.